All right guys, today I'm gonna to be doing the everyday, the, no not the, my. Today I'm gonna to be doing my everyday makeup tutorial to kind of start off the makeup part of my channel. First things first. All right, to prep my skin for my everyday makeup, I always use MAC Strobe Cream. Just gives a little extra dewiness and moisture to my dry dry skin. So I just need to take a moment to personally thank Revlon Color Stay because I've repurchased this foundation so, so many times and I've always gotten 150 buff because the lightest shade was just too light for me. It's like they made one just for me. They came out with a new shade and it's 130 porcelain. So I'm trying this out for the first time today, hoping that it's gonna be my perfect match. So I just pump this straight onto the back of my hand. So I always use a Real Techniques complexion sponge. They are amazing. I've never used a beauty blender to compare it to, but this works perfectly fine for me. Just gives a really nice, natural, flawless finish. And I'm not one to worry about full coverage too much because I still want my skin to look like skin. So yeah, I just take that straight onto the sponge and dab it all over. I'm gonna build up that coverage a little bit more just over my troublesome areas. Using the Naked Skin by Urban Decay Concealer. This one is in Fair Neutral. So I put this under my eyes. Down my nose, it's always red. And then I just bring a little bit up onto my forehead, down onto my chin little on my lip complexion sponge to blend all that out. Then I go in with my Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline. This one is in 15 Fair, which I believe is the lightest shade. Blemishes or acne scars or anything that I have. Just spot conceal using this. Before I set anything with powder, I go ahead and let that get nice and creasy and I'm going to do my brow. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Caramel. I have to get right up close to the mirror, so sorry if this is an awkward angle right now. I kind of just go back and forth looking at each brow and just kind of trying to get them as close as possible to each other and you know trying to match the thickness and all that until I look at them and say good enough. Once I've kind of created my brows I just run through them with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. This is just gonna bring some hair-like structure back to my brows and set them in place. Okay, once I finish my brows, I just take one clean finger and pat out all the creases around my eyes that have formed. So I'll go ahead and just lightly, lightly tap. Go ahead and get your powder ready. I use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder. Very, very fine milled, so it's great for dry eyes like mine. So what I do is I just take a damp sponge as before and I just dip that I usually will dump it into the cap first and then take what's in there and just pat that damp sponge in there and set the under eyes making sure again that there are no creases because if there are creases you're just gonna set those into place that kind of defeats the whole purpose Go ahead and just wipe away the excess powder with a very soft brush. Then I go ahead and just take a small fluffy brush and set my eyelids with the same powder. 
I do have a particularly wrinkly forehead, so I go ahead and do the same thing on my forehead to kind of, you know, relax those forehead creases that tend to form. So I'm gonna buff that out with my clean, damp sponge once again. Make sure there's no creases before I put powder on it or those creases are just gonna get set into place. Dip into that same powder and apply to the forehead. Again, wipe away the excess powder. This brow did lighten up a little bit, so I'm just gonna go back over that really quickly. So as long as there's no more spot covering, uh, spot concealing that I wanna do, I go ahead and just set the rest of my face with a face powder. I use the Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Talc-Free Mineral Face Powder in Translucent. So now that I've powdered my face, I like to just remove the foundation off of my lips because it kind of makes me look dead. So I just take a Q-tip, lick my lips, and kind of just carve my lips back out. All right, now that I have lips again, we're gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the face makeup. So I'm gonna grab my bronzer. I've been loving the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula, and this one is in light bronzer. I think there's one that's just called bronzer, but this is light bronzer. It's great for just bronzing up the face. Um, I put this where one would normally contour, just in a more blended fashion. It's not exactly contour, but it just does give a, some nice dimension to my face. Then I go ahead and just add some to my forehead just to kind of even everything out. That way I'm not just bronzed on my cheeks. You feel me? I do take a little square sponge thingy, you know, cosmetic sponge, and I take the Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is just the baby one. And translucent, and I'm just gonna take that along and just kind of, you know, place it right below that bronzer. That way you just, you get a more clean look. But while that is baking, I'm gonna go ahead and do my blush and highlight. The blush I use pretty much every single day is in the Morph um, Brushes palette. Why is it, why is it Morph Brushes? I always think that says Morph Blushes. Anyway, there's blushes in here, and I usually use this middle one. This is, by the way, the 9B palette. I'm just gonna pop that on my cheeks. So I am gonna blend that out a little bit just because I tend to get a little carried away, and I'd rather it be more on the subtle side than on the, whoa, well, hello blush side, you know? The highlight that I use every day is in the Carly Bible um, BH Cosmetics palette. It is this one right here. I do use this one sometimes, but it is really, really intense. So this one is more like a pretty champagne, more of a soft glow, which I prefer. If I show this to you, I just kind of place the side of the brush and just wiggle it down a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and yeah, just place that on the tops of my cheeks right here. Then I kind of just tap my finger into that same highlight shade and highlight my Cupid's bow. Depending on my mood, I'll highlight my nose. Sometimes I won't. I'll go ahead and do it today. I will go ahead and make sure that my highlight doesn't have any harsh lines. It usually doesn't with that duo fiber brush, but just to be sure, I'd rather everything be too blended than not enough. So I just go ahead and go along the perimeter of my highlight and yeah, just make sure that that's blending nicely. Go ahead and remove the excess powder from down here. And as you can see, it just kind of left a, a nice crisp line. Um, I will kind of blend that out a little bit because it's a little too crisp for my liking, but I'd rather it be, you know, more cleaned up than looking messy and patchy and all that fun stuff. 
So moving on to my eye makeup, on a day-to-day -day basis, I leave it pretty dang simple. I really love the combination of the Maybelline Color Tattoo. What is this called? Bad to the Bronze? Yeah, Bad to the Bronze. I love, love, love this. It's just an eyelid base all over the lid. And then I, when I discovered this combo, I was just dying. I was in love. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. So putting that just right over the top of Bad to the Bronze, it just looks amazing. It's so easy, so simple to just throw on every day. And I can just kind of blend out my crease and be good to go. So I just take Bad to the Bronze on my finger, swirl it in there nice and good. And then just put that all over my lid. Little disclaimer here, I am nearsighted, so if I am getting really close to the mirror and I'm like way over here, I apologize for that, but I can't really see what I'm doing. Then I just take an eyeshadow brush and put that directly into the Amber Rush pot. And apply that directly over the bat of the bronze that's on the lid already. Can you guys guess which one I use every single day? So Naked is my favorite shade in the world. I use it every single day, pretty much in every single look I find a reason to need it. I just take that on a large fluffy brush, a blending brush, and just swirl that in there along the sides because it's almost gone. And I'm just gonna put that in the crease and just blend everything out. Now because I do have hooded eyes, I tend to blend a little bit farther out than my crease just so you know you can actually see the color. So once I'm done with that, I'll take a clean blending brush and kind of just go over that, soften any edges, and again just make sure everything is blended because blending is key. I'm going to go back in with the Carly Bible palette, the same highlight I used before just to highlight my brow bone, and that's just going to kind of tie the face and the eyes together. Going back to the Naked palette, I'm going to take Naked once again and just smoke out my lower lash line. So that's it for the eyeshadow, super easy. So now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes with the Tweezerman eyelash color, the pink one, of course. And yeah, I'm just going to curl my lashes and then throw some mascara on and that's pretty much it. A mascara I just discovered not too long ago and I've been using every single day is the I Heart Extreme Mascara by Essence. I've just been using the crap out of this, so I figured I'd throw it in here. And my eyes are watering. So top mascara is done. I don't like using a wand this big for my bottom lashes. It just gets everywhere. So I've been using the... Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express. That actually does sound like it has a big wand, but it doesn't at all. It's pretty medium size. I mean, that might be huge to some people, but I don't know, it's not that big. And it really doesn't apply a lot of product. It really doesn't apply a lot of product at once, which is what I like about my bottom lashes, because I don't really like to coat my bottom lashes as much as the top. I actually, I suck so bad at doing bottom lashes. <laughs> that I ordered this little thing off of eBay. It's like a little lash guard thing. And so I just kind of set that right under my lashes and it really makes it so I can coat them evenly without worrying about getting it all up under my freshly concealed under eyes and ruining everything like I've done so many times. So yeah, anyways, that's what I do. Sometimes I'll go back and add another coat of mascara, but usually I don't, so. So moving on to lips, my most used color is probably Brave by MAC. Brave. It's just a really pretty everyday pink color. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips first. This is the L'Oreal uh, Infallible Never Fail Lip Liner, and it's in pink. Just pink. And it just broke. <laughs> Let's just brave it without lip liner today. <laughs> I just realized I just said brave it. <laughs> brave it. <laughs> I mean, 
mean, I don't want to say nailed it, but... To finish off this look, I'm gonna make sure my mascara is dry, because <laughs> that's happened once too many times. Spray the Fix Plus all over my face just to have little black dots. Yeah, no fun. I spray my face with MAC Fix Plus just to tone down the powdery look and just adds, you know, some pretty, I don't know. I don't know what it does, but it's great. You know, I'm just having so much fun. I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair too. I always start out with the Batiste dry shampoo on second day hair, like today. They were actually out of the original one, so I got the one that's tinted for light and blonde hair. So, I mean, it seems to work just the same. So I just spray that all up in my roots. I would literally die without dry shampoo. The grease would drown me. That's how I would die. That's disgusting. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm just kind of massaging that in with my fingers because I'm impatient and I don't want to let it sit. I always part my hair on the left side somewhere. It's never exactly in the same spot, but most often it's parted on the left. I don't think my hair routine could get simpler. I use dry shampoo, a straightener, and when it's looking frizzy, I'll throw a hair oil on it. And sometimes I'll use a teasing brush comb thing and put some volume at the roots. But you know, other than that, I don't really do much. I just take my like five, maybe even six year old straightener. Very old, works just the same. Sometimes the power button, like I, I'll push it for like 20 seconds and it still will not turn off the straightener. So I'll just have to unplug it. But you know, it works just fine. I mostly just worry about straightening the hair right around my face, specifically the ones right in front of my ear will get, you know, a little wave in it, but most of the time my hair is naturally straight. So I just run the straightener through it, get the little flippies back here that I kind of try to curve down. It doesn't always work, but yeah, so I'm just going to run this through my hair. So that's it guys, that's my everyday hair and makeup. I'm that person that gets asked if I'm sick if I don't wear any makeup or you know put any effort into my appearance whatsoever. So I don't really mind taking the extra time out of my day to do this. I think it's fun and it just makes me feel good about myself and I'm way more confident when I have a face on and I do my hair and dress cute, you know, you know. Let me know if you love or hate any of the products I use today and what you like to use on a daily basis. I really want to introduce some more Holy Grail products into my routine, but yeah, I really do like my routine how it is. Not a drugstore, so nice and affordable for repurchasing, which I love, but I definitely want to delve into more high-end stuff and yeah, just play around because it's just so fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day and I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye guys!